All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all staying strong in these latter times. And today I want to discuss about the house market, the homeless crisis and eviction. Now, this kind of ties back to the topic I discussed about unemployment and how many people are getting laid off. Many people are quitting jobs and how so many people have such different obligations that they can't keep up, such as rent, mortgage, car note, all these different responsibilities. So you have a lot of people with children, man, full households, full of families going homeless. You know what I'm saying? And the housing market was super cheap last year in the summer. But now the prices are much more higher. The property value of these places went up increasingly higher. So it's more challenging for people to buy new places or move to new areas because the pricing of it is so high. And inflation is also high as well, even though that deals with gas prices and everything still. Like it all boils down to this lopsided economy and this slow money flow. And also how the IRS keeps printing money due to the stimulus checks. That also plays a part into it as well. So so much layers to it, but as far as the housing market, you still have people that do real estate and people are still able to sell houses to people that are fortunate and privileged and have it like that, who have a great amount of money or wealth and are still able to buy new places or whatnot or condos. But for average people out there or middle class and below, they're kind of not in that tax bracket. So they're not really in that mode where they can just buy a new place like that. They have to work it out right where they at and struggle there and just go through it until something happens. And I pray for anybody who's in a situation like that, that God does something big and a, a, a amazing miracle for you. Like real talk, man, because there's people out here still getting miracles and things out of their control. And I pray that the most high has mercy and favor on you as far as your housing situation, whether you got evicted or kicked out or what have you. I pray to God, God change your scenery. I speak that over your life in Jesus name. Straight up, man. And then the homeless crisis. You see more homeless people more than ever, man. It's really sad and unfortunate. You know, I live in Augusta, Georgia, so we all know the poverty rate in Augusta is like really like a good percentage. You know, like you go to any part of Augusta, you see homeless people or poor people just all around, man. And, you know, you help them or whatnot. You give them money, you give them food and stuff. But it kind of just it it makes your heart sad, man. It makes you sad because it's like, dang, man, you know, you sitting there complaining and, and crabbing about your life and. You, you over emotional, over little things in your life. And there's people that's flat out homeless, flat out just poor. They don't have no family, no friends, no connection, no nothing. You know, so we have to learn how to be grateful for what we have. You got food in your belly. You got clothes on your back. You got a roof over your head. You ain't got nothing to crap or complain about. You better work out your current situation. Because there's people out there that wish they was in the same shoes as you. If you was homeless, like the same the same way these homeless people are. These, if you was poor like them, man, you, you, you probably wouldn't be able to handle that. We have to stop being so crabby and so ungrateful and always complaining about stuff, man. Straight up, man. And then it, as far as the eviction process goes, you know, a lot like it's crazy because like the presidents, the Senate and all the government, they allegedly signed all these executive orders and all these laws and bill makers and all this stuff for eviction and stuff like that and bills to be paid. But a lot of people are still getting their asses evicted. A lot of people are still getting kicked out their apartments, man. The sheriffs are coming to these people's places and just straight up taking everything out, man. And you can even see news articles about it. The the eviction rate went up real high in the Bay Area in San Francisco and the West Coast. It went up real high. New York, um, you know, certain parts, man, just all over America, bro. The housing market, the housing crisis is really crazy, man. And these realtors, these real estate people, they understand that, you know, they just try to get every dollar they can out of it. Because I'm telling you right now. By the end of 2021, early 2022, psh, the housing market going to just straight up crash. It's going to be straight up awful and horrible, man, because that's the direction it's leading towards. And, you know, man, you're going to see more and more and more poor homeless people. What's also crazy is that you also have this thing where I'm not too accurate or not too, too sure if it's Joe Biden them doing it or the Biden administration, but they're allowing all these illegal immigrants to come in. And get housing, which basically pushes out the Americans, which pushes out the hard worker citizens and basically letting illegal immigrants get housing. And that's lopsided, too, because now the hardworking people that deserve a living and whatnot, they're, it's, it's, they're basically getting pushed to the side over some laws and some things being signed off and executive orders. And you have illegal immigrants just coming in, just taking housing. You feel me? And that plays a part into it as well, man. 
overall, it's just crazy, bro. So this housing market, this homeless crisis, this eviction, man. If anybody out here is going through these scenarios, I pray to God that they really change your life, man. And you get some help and some guidance and some support through all of it, man. Because there's a lot of people going through this on a lonely scale. There's some people that struggle with their connections or finances or getting reach, getting reached out to. I pray to God that God fix that for you, man, for real. I don't know your current situation, so, you know, I could only say this from afar, you feel me? But only you know what you're going through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read Bible verses that deal with homelessness and things of that nature. The book of Proverbs, chapter 19, verse 17. Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his deed. So we got to always be given, man. We got to be always be willing to help people. We all kind of have our own issues. So sometimes it'd be challenging given then and there or whatnot, you know, but we have to always have a generous heart and keep that in mind because the most high needs us looking out for poor people because these poor people don't have nothing. They don't have nobody. The government betrayed everybody. These some people getting benefits. Some ain't a lot of people get X out of things, man, due to bad credit or um, they don't have the requirements or all that paperwork stuff, man. And. The access to things, man. It's just it's just sad, bro. Gentrification also plays a crazy part into this as well. Because they raise up these property values and they just move out people. They move out people out the hood and they just put all these, you know, people with more money into it. That causes homelessness as well. You know, it's, it's crazy, bro. But also, let's see. The book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 31. Whoever oppresses a poor man insults his maker, but he who is generous to the needy honors him. So always be willing to help poor people. Always be willing to help them out, man. If you see people that's like on drugs or something or just kind of wandering in the city or they kind of have issues and all that, you need to help. You need to help them. You need to lend a hand to them and don't do it for a show. Don't record it. Don't put it on social media. Just help people and keep it moving. God sees you. God will bless you, reward you for that. Don't do it for a show. Don't do it for vanity. Don't try to make a whole theater out of it. You feel me? Just help those in need and keep it moving. You know, the book of Matthew, the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 35. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me a drink and I was a stranger and you welcomed me. So. The same way we treat poor people, unfortunate people, that's kind of the same way we're basically treating Christ. See, Christ used that example and parable to show the meaning, the importance, the power of being generous, man, and how and how much it could, it could carry you to places, man. You feel me? Being given is definitely the time where this is a sacrificial given time. This is not a time to play for keeps. This is not a time to hold out from people. This is not a time to be greedy and uh, the look at me show and all that, man. This is a time to really help people, bro. Like straight up, man, because everybody is suffering in different ways, bro. And there's too many people out here going through it with this hot, with these evictions, getting thrown out, getting kicked out of their own apartments, all this, all this stuff going on, man. You know, these jobs that people work, it can't even cover the rent and bills like it used to, man. It's so hard and tough out here. So now let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 27. Whoever gives to the poor will not want. But he who hides his eyes will get many a curse. So you see a poor person in help, man. Just help them on the spot. Don't hide your eyes from it. Don't try to turn away from it. Don't try to ignore it and act like you see it. Help all these people, man. The book of Isaiah chapter 58 verse 7. Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house? When you see the naked to cover him and not to hide yourself from your own flesh. You see, you got to always look out for people, man. You know, at times they don't even have to always be money. We could get someone to a shelter. We could get someone a hotel room just to stay in. We could help someone get out the rain. We could help someone get clothes or shoes. You know, so many different ways to be generous and help and give people, man. You feel me? Try to help someone with some assistance. Try to cut, plug, connect someone. Try to network them, you know, into something, man. We, we, you know, there's so many ways to help people, man. The book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 9. Whoever has a bountiful eye will be blessed, for he shares his bread with the poor. Got to always help people, bro. Always. Straight up, man. Book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 13. Whoever closes his ear to the cry of the poor will himself call out and not be answered. It's karma, man. You better look out for them poor people. You're going to get your justice due. You're going to get your karma if you don't help these people out, bro. If you balling, you living good, you flexing on social media, and you ain't even helping nobody, man. You're going to get bad karma for that. Let's see. 
the book of Psalm chapter 140, verse 12. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted. He will maintain the cause of the afflicted and will execute justice for the needy. So God will look out for those who's losing things. People that are going through it. We, everyone here is going through it, bro. It's important to get the most high. Because a lot of these people that's going through it, a lot of them don't have the most high. A lot of them are carnal. A lot of them trusted the system. A lot of them trusted the government. A lot of them trusted these politicians. A lot of them trusted this world. They thought they would never end up in a situation like that. Let me tell you something. Coronavirus has humbled everybody. It has humbled everybody. It has shaken things up. You know what I'm saying? We have to learn how to prepare for the worst. We have to learn how to prepare for rainy days. We have to learn how to bounce back and be resilient and come back from uh, shortcomings. We have to learn how to just deal with every scenario possible. We have to have good critical uh, thinking skills. We have to have good problem solving skills. Real talk, man. The most high going to look out for it. We have to get back to the most high. This is why I talk about this, man. This is why y'all have to get back to the most high, bro. Straight up. Let's see the book of Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 11 for there will never cease to be the poor in the land for therefore I command you you shall open wide your hand to your brother to the needy and to the poor in your hand see you got to open your hand wide don't be don't be selfish man don't be greedy don't be holding out man there's people out there that need what you have if you're a person that's plugged and you're resourceful you have all these connections you have all these plugs why aren't you helping people with it why aren't you not putting people on why are you not? Why are you sitting back, watch people suffer while you're living good, and you can't help people in that process? That's messed up. Come on now, you gotta help these people, man. This this housing crack, this housing market is crazy. It's gonna it's gonna go down real bad by the end of this year, early 2022. I'm telling you, this this eviction rate is crazy. The homeless rate is poverty rate crazy out here. Now, let's see. And the book of Luke chapter 3 verse 10 through 11 It says and the crowd asked him what then shall we do And he answered them whoever has two tunics Is to share with him who has none And whoever has food to do likewise So if you got two things you give someone one You know half and half 50 50 two way street I get this you get that You know learn how to Be sacrificial and reasonable with it You feel me Now I don't, I don't mean give everybody everything And then you become asked out You feel me you gotta learn how to Give accordingly, give freely, and also still be able to take care of your own. Because sometimes people are so sap super sacrificial and way too nice that they tend to give everything away and then have nothing left back for themselves. And then they kind of get stuck in situations. But we have to give accordingly out of our hearts, man, at the end of the day. Straight up, man. The book of Luke chapter 14, verse 13 through 14. But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you. For you will be repaid at the resurrection of the just. See, I'm telling y'all, man, God needs us to look out for people in these end times, bro. There's so many people in the in the world going homeless. There's, I'm telling you, these these people that are going homeless, they used to have everything. They used to have it all. They lost it all, man. The the housing market is crazy. These realtors, these real estate people, I understand they're doing their jobs and they're passionate about selling homes and all that, and again, people to buy stuff, but. A lot of these other realtors, they're just trying to pull a fast one. They're trying to get that quick bag. You know what I'm saying? We still live in a capitalistic world, so everything is a transaction out here. You feel me? But nonetheless, man, the, 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 the eviction rate is crazy, man. People can't even pay their rent and all that. People pass due their rent a month or two, still trying to figure it out. So I pray to God that anybody going through these scenarios right now, that God works out your situation for you. You know, real talk and God send the right people in your direction to help you as well. Because we all need help, man. This is not the time to be independent and act like you got it all together by yourself. Trust me, we all going to need somebody out here. Especially in these last days, God is forcing people to work together. Even if you don't agree with that person, you might not see eye to eye with that person. That person could still help you and bless you. Always keep that in mind. God bless y'all. I love y'all. Peace.